So here's the steps for working out those summary statistics using your calculator and this is a TI-83 I'm using to demonstrate here. So the first step is to put the data values that you have, the observations, into the list. So here I'm just going to press stat and then I want to edit the list so I say edit. It's highlighted so I press enter. And then I just type in these uh, observations so 12, enter, 18, enter, Now I go to stat and I move across because I want to go to this calc menu. So I use this arrow and I go over and now I want one variable statistics because I only have one variable here. That's highlighted so I'll just press enter. And now I tell it which list to use. The default is it will look at list one. If you wanted it to look at list two you would say second two because that's using this little yellow list two button there. But I'll just clear that because I just need it to do list one. So I'll just go over again one variable statistics and I just press enter and it shows me these. Now that first one there X with the bar over the top is the mean which for this uh, group of data is 15. The next one there that Greek symbol and then the X means the sum of these uh, data points and the next one means the sum of the X squared. You won't often use those statistics the next one though is really important, that S of X means the standard deviation of X, which we did just calculate manually in the previous video, uh, but this is how you can get it a quick way from your calculator. The next one there, Sigma X, is also the standard deviation, but the difference between these two is S X is the standard deviation when you're talking about a sample, and Sigma X is the standard deviation when you're talking about a population. Now most of the time, almost all the time, you'll be talking about a sample. So this is the one that we use most often. Occasionally if you know you happen to have the entire population in what you're calculating, then you'll use sigma x. And if you scroll down you get a few other data points. You can see n equals 6 there, which means the number of observations you have. So you can see we have 6 that we've entered here. That'll just count them up for you. And then you get the five figure summary, which is very handy when you're plotting a box plot. So that's the minimum, the Q1, the median, the Q3, and the maximum. So here we've got the median of 14.5. And so here is a quick way of finding the mean, the standard deviation, and the median, which are some of those summary statistics that we talked about in this tutorial.